Today I'm reviewing the Thor RFID shield. It's machined from pure copper. It's thin, it's lightweight, and it blocks RFID signals better than anything else we've tested. We're going to compare it to aluminum foil. Uh, we're going to demonstrate it's being used in the Viper Titanium Money Clip. It can be used in uh, a wallet, uh, anywhere you carry cards. We're also going to compare it to uh, an RFID sleeve by a competitor and a piece of uh, carbon fiber and uh, see how it does. Basically what, uh, what the uh, intent is, is to block the antennas on uh, credit cards, uh, hotel keys, uh, driver's licenses and really anything that's enabled uh, with RFID. Normally the only visible part you're going to see is a contact set. Everything else is uh, buried within the card. The, the big part here is the antenna. It collects uh, the radio frequency energy, channels it to the microchip and that allows it to transmit over air. Um, the contact set is for uh, simply inserting into a device where it, uh, it reads it directly and uh, it doesn't go through the air. So um, let's get started. Here we have the Viper Titanium Money Clip with smart cards. Here we have a scanner. Uh, it's also the listening device. So here you can see the distance for sake of argument is uh, six inches. So it can be scanned from six inches away. Uh, it's a little bit more powerful than a typical near, near field communication device, uh, but it's not uh, too, uh, too different from what you might find in say a hotel key or uh, some other cards which uh, have an RFID uh, capability. Okay, very simply, what we're gonna do here, take off the clip, we're going to put in a card in the front, another one in the back. So now everything is sandwiched, at least your, uh, your cards are sandwiched by two of the copper plates. And here you can see the scanning distance goes down to zero. If we take this off, now I'm going to be quite close. Now, as I start to move the top card, we should be okay. Sometimes you might get a positive read. Definitely if I turn it over, you're going to get a scan. Now, this is with one card and the cards in the back. So it actually is soaking up some of the RF signal and uh, it is providing some protection. That's just one card. For 100% protection, two cards, you're getting a zero air gap, meaning it's, uh, it's essentially perfect for, uh, for the purposes. So two Thor RFID cards, uh, sandwiching your credit cards should provide you 100% uh, or, or close to 100% protection. Uh, with, with one card, uh, the issue is the RFID waves can wash around, just, just similar to waves uh, in water, how it can wash around. So even though it's line of sight, uh, you can still get waves uh, moving around the card and, and, and triggering it. So again, use to... Let's try the, uh, the tin foil method. I grab some tin foil, tear off a chunk. And then what we're going to do is put the card in here, wrap it, so our card is covered. So theoretically this should block the RFID signal, but it's only good until uh, it looks, I mean without measuring it, we can say that's an inch. We are uh, with no, no tin foil. Uh, we were looking at uh, closer to six inches, so you know it, it is blocking it. It looks like it cuts down the distance by about six times, but it's not 100%. You're not going to look very cool on your date uh, when you start unwrapping your credit cards uh, from underneath the tin foil. Just, uh, just not a good system.
You've probably seen the um, credit card sleeves. They're, uh, they're sold uh, online. Some major companies are selling them. Uh, they claim to block RFID signals. And let's put that to the test. So here we're gonna slide the card in the sleeve and uh, see what happens. Okay. Doesn't look like it's blocking it 100%. In fact, I don't know, maybe two inches. So tinfoil blocked it from six inches down to one. This sleeve uh, seems to block it from six inches down to two. So this is a, a three times reduction. Tinfoil is six. Okay, now we're going to test out the uh, the carbon fiber card. This is uh, real carbon fiber. Uh, we're going to put this underneath the smart card. See what happens. And uh, it looks like we're getting full full reading distance. There's no attenuation of the signal at all. Back, we're going to remove it. And. Uh, if I grab the Thor RFID blocking card and put that underneath, it's blocking completely. Just to show you here, I'm going to slide it away. So it's 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 bringing it down to uh, to a zero distance, 100% RFID blocking in our test.